Well, good morning. Uh, my name is Mike Hahn, and this is my wife, Krista, and we are the directors and founders of His Little Feet, and we are so thrilled to be here this morning. So thank you, Pastor Bill and Lisa, for hosting us, all the host families that are here. We're so thrilled uh, to see what God wants to do inside of your hearts this morning. Uh, as Pastor Bill mentioned, all 15 of these children are from Haiti. They live in a children's home called Danita's Children's Home. It's in the northeast region of Haiti, up in Wanamint. There's a children's home on campus, there's a school on campus, there's a church on campus. So they come from and will return to a wonderful, wonderful home. And this is the first group of children uh, to leave Haiti legally since the aftermath of the earthquake. Chris and I were there for 80 days, and uh, God brought a great victory in bringing these children here, and we're so thrilled that we got to be here this morning. Woo! Yeah, you can give God a round of applause for that one. So there was a point in these children's lives where they needed help. They needed an advocate, somebody to step in and to help. And Danita and her, the missionaries and the staff there was, were capable and willing to take these children in. And uh, so they come from a wonderful place. And these children are here in the United States on behalf of the millions of children around the world uh, that still need help. Proverbs 31.8 says that we are to speak up for those who cannot speak for themselves. And that's exactly what these children are doing. They're the voice for all the children around the world that need help. And this morning, we just want you to be in prayer. What does God want you to do uh, to be a part of reaching out and helping children just like these? As we travel the United States, we've launched a nationwide campaign called Be In On It. And there are four practical ways that we as His Little Feet give the body an opportunity to respond to help practically orphaned and vulnerable children all over the world. So the first way to be in on it is to give. And when you give to His Little Feet, that helps us with the work we're doing now with this group as well as the teams that follow. And as we travel to the U.S., it helps support the ministry that we have here in the U.S. The second way to be in on it is to consider sponsorship. And we partner with Compassion International to provide the opportunity for people to sponsor. It's $38 a month, and that helps a child with their education, their medical care, the opportunity to hear about Jesus Christ. And what we love about Compassion is that it is one sponsor to one child. And so it's a great example and uh, just a, a thing for a child to understand there's one person out there that cares. And the same way, we encourage them to have that relationship with the one true God. And so we encourage you, if you don't already sponsor on your way out, to be in on it by sponsoring. And then the third way that we give people the opportunity to be in on it is to go. And first and foremost, we want to encourage you that if you are not already signed up to go on a trip with the church here to the Philippines or to wherever the trips are going, we encourage you to get involved. And if you don't have a way to go, we have an opportunity through an organization called Visiting Orphans out in Nolensville, Tennessee, that puts together trips for people to go and to serve in places all over the world. Honduras, Haiti, the Philippines, India. Uh, there's about 15 countries that they go all over the world. So we encourage you, if you don't already have that opportunity at hand, to consider going and visiting orphans and caring for them. And then the fourth way for folks to get involved and be in on it is to consider giving a child a permanent home, a child that needs a mom and a dad, and to consider adoption. And we have a lot of families that come to us after these events and will say, you know, I have been thinking, our family's been praying, and we're ready to step forward. So first of all, if you're ready to just get information, we have an incredible organization that we work with actually based here in the Washington, D.C. area called America World Adoption. And as you go out today, if you want to take a brochure that talks about being adopted by design, that's the first way to get involved with adoption. But if there's families here today that are ready to start and step into adoption, we actually have applications and information about the countries we have available for international adoption. So if you want to get involved in that way and you're ready to step forward, that is an incredible way to be in on this morning. And we just want to recognize we have very dear friends, the founders, and directors of America World are here this morning. And so if you don't mind, I'm going to have Brian and Renee Lewis stand up. And let's just um, greet them and appreciate them for all the work they do for children all over the world through adoption. We were just last week in Ethiopia with Brian, and it was very uh, startling 
to be reminded of how real the reality is. There are children that are this age that are right now waiting for families. And so definitely, if you're interested in adoption, see us afterwards. We'd love to get you connected. So those are the four ways to be in on it, to give, to sponsor, to go, and or to adopt. Now, if you know the songs this morning, uh, we welcome you to sing along if you want to join the children in dancing. Not many people do that, but you are welcome <laughs> to do that as well. So feel free to worship along with us. So thanks again, and God bless you.